So at the tail end of last week, a buddy of mine linked me to this article, The Atomic Pie, Is It Worth It? At this point, uh, three days later, there's been 103 comments made. Some of those comments, I think, mirror my general feelings towards uh, this article. Um, others, I don't know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and this is just going to be another opinion piece. Up front, for me, when I was looking for an Intel-based SBC like this, um, mine was a very unique edge case. I run some software, or used to run some software. I've been looking for something like this for at least three years now. I used to run some software that decompiled uh, Flash-based games, and the program I was running required a x86. In theory, I should have been able to recompile the software to run on something like a Raspberry Pi with the ARM processor, but after a couple hours of trying this and that, decided it just wasn't worth the headache, and I kept a VM around to run that, and sometimes I ran it on an old PC I had running in the corner. But um, we'll get in, let's jump to the article here real quick, and we'll talk a little bit more about this as uh, I babble on here. So, is the Atomic Pi worth it? We'll jump right to it. According to Brian, no, it's not. Um, he even goes so far as to say you've wasted your time reading this article. Um, one of the interesting things I found in this um, was that these boards really were originally for a robot uh, that failed a few years ago, and that the backers on this really were only uh, building the power adapter for it, and that they picked up these boards uh, at, at auction. So if we jump over here, this is linked later in the article, but um, there were four different lots, and the lots were anywhere from about 4,000 to 8,000 uh, or 8,500 devices at a time. And all said and done, there were only, I think it was 27,500. Um, that is not to say that they didn't buy more of these from something else, but this could be a very limited number of atomic pies that are out there. So will that make it a collector's item? Who knows? Um, one of the main things, and I think this really does make more sense now, of why there was no power uh, adapter on the board to start with. Um, and that was one of my main concerns when I first got this. This has all worked, but it is a bit of a kludge to get power to the system right now, and I still have at least another two weeks until the boards uh, that I purchased through, I forgot who it is, third party, um, to even ship. So. This device works just fine, but it is a very niche device, I think, especially now that we found out that there potentially is only 28,000 of them out there. Um, it could be a very uh, limited uh, device long term. So through the article, he gives some very specific things. He likes to think that he wanted to call this just literal garbage. And I really disagree with him at that point in time. I mean, we're all welcome to our opinion. And this, again, is just an opinion piece of my own, too. But they do have a very unique purpose for certain builders out there. I've provided why I'm looking for it. Others will have their own reason. Um, one of the big issues I had with this is, as the article goes on, let's see if I can find this down here, he goes ahead and starts talking about the ASPC T11 or the ASPC T5. You're comparing apples to oranges here. You can't compare a $35 device to a $100 to $130 device. It just doesn't work. I mean, okay, you think the thing's garbage? Great. But telling me to go out and buy something like this that ha that'll be out there? It just doesn't work. Um, at the end of the day, from my perspective, is the Atomic Pi worth it? If you have a unique need for x86 versus a ARM-based processor, and you can still get this, and you have a power supply, sure, it's well worth it. If you are looking for something that will just kill the, or replace the Pi, like a Raspberry Pi, no, this isn't going to be it for you. One, it's tw at least twice the size, there's a power uh, issue, and it's very limited. But if you have a need, like I did, for a very small x86 PC, for a very cheap price and you have a power supply around and are willing to do some work to make it work, I think this device will work just fine for you. It's all up to why you're looking to use it and um, what your plans are.
Anyways, hope this helps some of you that are looking at this and have been trying to find uh, what it's really out there for.